subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. What to do about vaginismus? Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mata Tara Lee. I'm a relationship counsellor and clinical sexologist. So I actually specialize in supporting clients with vaginismus. I've been practicing since 2009 and I've worked with thousands and thousands of clients with vaginismus. And uh, it's a condition that happens when the vagina shuts down, making penetration difficult or impossible. So whether it's with a finger or sex toy or the penis, it's just very difficult or impossible to go in. And it may take a long time to go in and it may result in a lot of pain. So what can happen is because the muscles are tense it's a physical sensation on tense but a lot of people think it's just a physical decision when in reality the mind is so scared so the the person with the vagina is having a lot of uh, fear around the penetration because they are actually anticipating pain so that is linked is linked to fear of pain and it's also linked to the fear of the unknown so when it comes to people having sex for the first time of course it can be uncomfortable it can have this burning smirting feeling it's because the vagina is still very sensitive so a lot of my clients who have primary vaginismus who are having sex for the first time who then realize that they have vaginismus they are experiencing this because um, they they never touch themselves so their vaginas are super sensitive and so when they try anything, it's just like overwhelming. So it's really important to take small progressive steps such as trying with something small, let's say finger or with a small sex toy so that they get comfortable with the sensations in the vagina first. But most people do not do that. Most people with vaginas do not touch themselves. We do not uh, put our, put finger or anything into our vagina for fear of hurting ourselves, for fear of uh, hurting our hymen. And so there's this, uh, this is all like layered upon each other in terms of the level of ignorance. So what happens with people with vaginismus is it's not just having a condition. It actually starts to then lead on to other problems such as, um, you know, they try it for the first time and then they are disappointing their partner. So then they, they have a lot of blame. They have a lot of guilt. Then their partner is wondering like what's going on. Their partner is thinking that they're not attracted to him. Their partner is uh, uh, feeling frustrated because the partner doesn't know what to do because obviously the partner is also not trained. So what happens is then it can lead to... Um, uh, distancing they start becoming more distant they keep trying and then it just doesn't work so what can happen is they start to become like further and further apart it can lead to like fear of uh, annulment it can lead to um, cheating it can lead to um, a lack of self-confidence uh, depression it can lead to like shutdown in communication so it's very important when uh, talking about uh, vaginismus what it is and uh, also what it can lead to it's so important to talk about the treatment right so I just now I started to mention uh, progressive steps, um, getting to know the body. So sexuality education is so important uh, and not just any kind of sexual ed education, like actually going to someone who really specializes in this, uh, such as myself. So um, it, it, um, a lot of times I find um, people uh, who have vaginismus asking questions like, um, what, where is the vagina? Um, how do I actually do it? Um, how do I get aroused? Um, how do I masturbate? Um, it's linked with pleasure because when you are actually aroused, this is when the vagina is actually less sensitive and uh, the, the body actually wants to have um, this sensation of penetration and maybe more likely to have curiosity around it. Um, a lot of times doctors will prescribe dilators. So it's not good enough in my opinion to just uh, use uh, a cylindrical cone object and just like progressively like from small to big and just like shove something into the vagina. It's really important to listen to your body, to be sensitive to what you're feeling, to honor um, the need for arousal, relaxation and pleasure so that you have a less um, difficult time to learn about your body. And so it's really important to work with some uh, practitioner who really knows what they're talking about and uh, specializes in this. And so get the support that you need when it comes to vaginismus, read up more about it, get the sexuality education that you never got uh, the basics of birds and bees that we never got uh, be more informed uh, get the support of your partner get the cooperation uh, when it comes to uh, sex um, this is what you can do in the meantime so you can do out the play you can uh, become more comfortable with um, hand job blow job uh, you can get more comfortable comfortable with um, uh, rubbing on the penis for instance uh, with your genitals you can um, develop more confidence uh, over time with um, having um, stimulation at the entrance of the vagina first, training yourself to be comfortable with the outside and then the inside. 
So it's really important to not shut down the sexuality, not stop being sexual with your partner during this time. Um, and it's so important that when you do find a practitioner that you're comfortable with to actually go with your partner so that your partner also gets this knowledge and information alongside you so that your partner knows how to support you. So I hope this video has given you some thoughts about vaginismus and also uh, what you can do about it. So this has been Martha. Uh, do check out uh, my work. Uh, I'm available at uh, eroscoaching.com and I'm making this video for She The People TV. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.